All right, Shalom. All praise going on. It goes to Yahweh. Bashim Yahweh Shai. Bashim Rukaku Dash. Double on the city of Paulson. The elders of Great Millstone and Rule Well. And peace of blessings to the elect. This is another edition of uh, GMS ATL Phone Talk. And what, uh, and what I want to talk about today is uh, this uh, article. Uh, it's, it's in the, uh, it was published in the uh, Louis, Louis, Louisiana Weekly dot com website, but it's from the uh, Southern Poverty Law Center. And basically, uh, what you read here in the headline is Southern Poverty Law Center says black nationalist groups have increased. Now, a lot of brothers, in uh, especially amongst the Great Millstone, have been uh, pushing this article around. You know, the last day or two. Uh, well, basically, you got Esau. Um, he's basically uh, keeping tabs on these different so-called black nationalist groups, and he labels. Not just Hebrew Israelites, but uh, the, in particular, uh, the Great Millstone Hebrew Israelites, and how there's been a uh, a rise and increase of of uh, this particular group or camp of uh, Israelites, which I myself am a part of, um, and um, <clears throat> you know, this just goes to show you that we're in the time that. That Esau is going to start to make his move and come down upon these groups, man. He's going to come down among these camps, and he's 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 putting in place a dossier and a um, a uh, you know a uh, you know, basic you know file cabinet of um of the Hebrew Israelites. Now, I'm trying to see if I can find specifically where it says. Because it mentioned about Great Millstone in this particular article. Uh, here we are here. Let's see if I can highlight it. Alright. It actually started on Millstone. Um, so here you see it. Right here, it says, uh, Be- uh, Byrick attributed this year's rise in black nationalist numbers to new group called Great Millstone, for which S- SPLC counted 20 recently formed chapters. So they're seeing, all this doing is really proving that the word of the Lord is going out. You know, the spirit of Yahweh Bashman was shy is being pushed down in the earth right now via Great Millstone. We don't have to go to Africa or go to the islands or go overseas to Europe and set up a school and a building and you know build no church. We um we uh you know we just you know do our lessons out there on the street, we record them and post them on YouTube, and they um you know whoever watches it watches it, and then the spirit itself it gives us the increase that the uh, the the. The men, the you know, of the elect are going to pick up on it, and then they're going to start learning, and they're going to start uh, teaching. Okay, it was a um, matter of fact. Just uh, I believe it was yesterday, maybe a day or two ago. Uh, one of brothers I can't ha- point out a comment that there were some um, uh, men that wanted to teach this word, and you know, you know, uh, underneath GMS out there in uh, Romania. You know, so, you know, he's, all, you know, he's keeping towels on us here in America. But what about those brothers overseas, man? OK. Um, so I'm going to read it. It says, uh, Bayrick attributed this year's rise in black nationalist numbers to new group called Great Millstone, for which SPLC counted 20 recently formed chapters. The Great Millstone has very little information on his website and his videos don't work. And that's that's a. Uh, that's a, you know, that's all misleading, you know. I mean, sometimes, you know, the website does go down, you know. But for the most part, the information is all true. It's all there. But like I said, hey, man, it's all the spirit of the Lord, you know. So I'm going to read some scriptures. Uh, I'm going to read some scriptures. Uh, let's go to the book of, uh, um, let's see, the book of Mark. 16th chapter, right? Because Yahweh said that we are to go out and preach this word, man. 
and it's going to be propagated in the earth, and you're going to y'all going to see new members come in, you know. And brothers have, you know, and brothers are catching this article and they're doing videos and live streams on it. And the spirit hit me to say something too, man. Because see, Esau thinks that he's going to come down on us. He's just going to beat us down and destroy us like he did in the ancient world. All right? You know, the ancient prophets. But that's not so. And I'm going to read that prophecy too. But first I'm going to read this. This is Mark 16 and 15. And this is Yahweh Shah speaking. It says, and he said unto them, go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Meaning all the men, all the elected Israel, and also prophesied to the nations as well. Right? Verse 16 says, He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be damned. Right? Because, hey, if you're an Israelite, so-called black, Spanish, Native American, and this word doesn't, you know, uh, uh, you know, it doesn't resonate with your spirit, then, hey, then you got to get condemned. You know? And you're going to be destroyed when America is destroyed and other parts of the world are, are, are hit in this third world's war by these thermonuclear missiles. Okay? Um, uh, but it says here in, uh, in verse 17, it says, And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. Hey, we are speaking new tongues, man. You got brothers speaking English. Because in the ancient world, in the time of Yahweh Shai, the only language that, that most people were speaking were uh, Italian, Greek, uh, well, it's like it, Latin, Greek, and Hebrew, you know? But now we're on this side of the world in the Western Hemisphere speaking English, Spanish, you know, but they speak Italian, they speak Dutch, you know, they speak you know, the Russian language, they, they speak uh, uh, Zosa, and Swahili, and other African languages, you know, French, you know, Creole. So that's, that's coming to pass and, and says here, it says, they shall take up serpents and if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. And that's spiritual power. That's spiritual power, man, to lay hand on somebody that's sick and then they recover and they healed. And I say this too, uh, this evening, tonight is, uh, I believe it's the, uh, the uh, day of Pentecost. And it's on the day of Pentecost that the the uh, apostles uh, that were under Yahweh Shad, they got spiritual power, you know? And now you got Esau, you know, bringing all this information out on the Great Millstone, and he think that, you know, he's, he, he's trying to gather information, and he's going to make his move and, you know, de you know destroy us or kill us. Hey, man, the Lord said that he's going to uh, lift up a standard uh, uh, against them for us, man. And I'm going to read it. This is Isaiah 59 and 19. Uh, it says, so shall they fear the name of the Lord from the West. Right. Because in the ancient world, the, the men of Israel and the prophets, the servants of the Lord were in the Eastern Hemisphere, in the Middle East and, and uh, uh, you know, Asia Minor going around preaching the word. But now we're on a whole other side of the world. It says, and so shall they fear the name of the Lord from the West, which the name of the Lord, the Heavenly Father, who the word in calls God is Yahweh and his son, all right, the Savior, who the word in calls Jesus Christ, his name is Yahweh Shai. And we fear that name and we reverence that name and we push that name and we preach that name and we teach it to the elect out there. Okay? It says, So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun when the enemy shall come in like a flood. And this right here, with this article, this is a, uh, you know, the work of the enemy gathering intel so he can come in, send his troops, you know, martial law and, you know, try to arrest us or kill us. But the Lord, he's going to lift up a standard. He's going to give us power, man. He's, as soon as this so-called white man tries to make his move on us, the Lord is going to give us power, man. Okay, Akim. All right. And for you awkward out there, you know, that listen, hey, you, you're going to see the men of the Lord get power. Okay? All right? Um, so it says, Isaiah 59, 19 again, so shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. 
and verse 20, and the Redeemer shall come to Zion and unto them that turn from transgression in Jacob. Those that turn back to the Heavenly Father, which are, you know, the elect of Israel. All right. Yahweh Shai being the Redeemer is going to come and save us. OK. And the Redeemer shall come to Zion and unto them that turn from transgression in Jacob, saith the Lord, you know, you know come back to the heritage, you know, learn the Hebrew. Keeping the uh, law, statutes, and the commandments to the best of our ability in this captivity. Okay? And verse 21 says, As for me, this is my covenant with them, saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashmi, I was shy. My spirit that is upon thee, and my words which I have put in thy mouth, shall not depart. Excuse me, uh, shall not depart out of thy mouth, nor out of the mouth of thy seed, nor out of the mouth of thy seed, seed, saith Yahweh Bashmi, I was shy, from henceforth and forever. And me, myself, I'm speaking this word, man. You know, I'm speaking this word because I'm an Israelite, a Hebrew Israelite. All right. Um, so uh, we in that time. You know, we in that time, you know. But, um, hey, so, you know, whatever Esau has planned with this information, man, he's watching. You know, so brothers, stay, uh, stay vigilant. You know, stay uh, in the spirit, stay watching. You know, um, things are happening. You know, um, Yahweh Bashan was shy. He's going to he's going to help us out, man. He's going to strengthen us. You know, no matter what Esau tries to do against the Hebrew Israelites, and especially us, Great Millstone, Yahweh Bashan was shy. Is going to help us out. All right. Um, you know, because he said that, and he's going to send back his son Yahweh was shy to uh, you know, to keep us intact. You know. But that's all, you know, I, I want to talk about, um, you know, uh, but with that, I'm going to give all praise and going on to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rukhah Kodash, Double Lord City Apostle, and the elders of Great Millstone, and rule well. Peace and blessings to the elect. I hope you all were edified. And until the next time, I say Shalom.